Modules are valuable because they allow you to create a reusable circuit that can interface with other components of your design. Often, a module performs logic that is useful to another module, so the modules need to communicate. There are a couple ways to connect modules. The first way is by instantiating a module within another module. For example, every Cordis project has a top-level module that contains instances of all the modules used in the design. In Lab 2, you will have named your top-level module System. Let's instantiate a module in System. The instantiation syntax is similar to the syntax used when declaring a module in a module file. You first want to type the name of the module being instantiated. And after that, you type the name of this particular instance. We'll just call this AND1, but you can name it whatever you want. Next, you have to wire the ports. There are two ways to do this. You can simply list the port connections in the order that they are declared in the module file. But this isn't usually recommended because it requires you to keep track of the order, and modules can have a large number of ports. The more standard method is to specify each port and its connection individually. For the MyAND module, the ports are A, B, and OUT. So to connect port A, I'm going to type dot .A, and then a space, and then the port connection goes in parentheses after the space. In this case, I want to use the system port A as the input, so I put A in the parentheses. Notice how both A's refer to different things. The first A after the dot is the port of the MyAND module. The second A is the port to the system module. It just so happens to have the same name. If I change the system port name to Flying Fish, then I would have to change the connection to reflect that, but the MyAND port would stay as A. There are more ports to connect, so I have to place a comma after this port connection. I'm going to do the same thing with port B. And then for port out, I don't have anything to connect yet, so I'll leave the parentheses blank for now. Don't put a comma after the last port. It will compile in Quartus, but it won't compile in Modelsim, which we'll be using a lot of later in the course. Now I'll instantiate the ports for the My Inverter module. The ports are A and out. I won't connect A yet, but out should be connected to the system out port. This brings us to the second way to connect modules. Within a higher level module, you can connect an output port of one module to the input port of another module. Physically, you would do this using a wire, so the keyword for the connector is also wire. Simply type the wire keyword and the name of the wire, and you can use it to connect two modules. You can connect the wire to as many input ports as you like, but it can only connect to one output port. Otherwise, it would receive conflicting signals. Now I'll connect my AND and my inverter using the wire. And now the system module is finished. By connecting multiple smaller modules, I've created a larger module that acts as an AND gate. 